Hi there, my name is Ron Ahuja and in my role as ISV and Digital Native Business Development Lead, I help B2B and B2C software companies like yours make the transition to the cloud covering both technology and business issues. The ANZ software sector saw significant hammering from COVID. Of course, some industries blossomed, whereas others took a blow. But overall, it was not a good year for the sector. With IDC reporting growth had shrunk by 75% compared to the previous year. This saw many investors tightening their purses and closing their wallets worldwide. According to McKinsey, investment firms that would typically take an early or late stake in software companies are sitting on almost one and a half trillion dollars of dry powder allocated capital that has gone unused. But with vaccinations being released and nations having time to bed down a new normal, the recovery is coming. This year, IDC expects growth to not only recover the 2020 deficit, but return to a similar trajectory of 2019. As a software business, you want to be the best position to grab the share investment available. And we know Strong growth metrics are a key differentiator, and this is where we can help. Did you know that out of 120 CEOs surveyed, the number one reason they chose a partnership with AWS was ultimately to drive their growth prospects. It was to A, acquire new customers, and B, they felt it gave them the strongest retention and expansion potential. So you may be surprised to know that AWS is more than just a destination for innovation. In this session, we will explore five ways we have influenced growth of other software businesses. We will help illustrate the key points today by taking you through the journey of a fictional software business, perhaps not too dissimilar to the kind of journey your business may have taken or might take. We will start by introducing you to HyperLearnCo, which is a fictional customer that encounters business challenges that might be solved by a specific growth tactic. While there are many growth hacks out there, the ones we will focus on today cover, one, growing within your current segments and penetrating the existing market. Two, deploying optimized channel strategies that help you reach further. Three, developing new markets by focusing on new segments. Four, building new products and features to expand LTV in existing clients. And five, eliminating friction from the pathways pursued. So HyperLearnCo is this enterprise sales training platform and a technology business who have achieved product market fit and go to market fit. They're in the process of scaling up their sales function and have ambitions of expanding into overseas markets. They have strong breadth and depth in engineering capability, but one which is stretched very thin amongst aggressive growth targets. They've recently been invited and accepted into the Global Startup Program, and now have access to a partner development manager who supports them across product development, go-to-market, and growth strategies. Working alongside are also their AWS account manager and solution architect. Presenting with me today is my partner in crime, Kyle. Kyle, who in his role as a PDM, works with customers daily in solving for three common growth tactics, namely penetrating the market, expanding reach, and entering new segments. And he will take over from here to walk you through some of HyperLearnCo's journey. Thanks, Rowan. Hi, everyone. My name is Kyle Redding, and I'm a startup-focused partner development manager. I support some of our ANZ-based technology startups to leverage the AWS Partner Network to grow and scale across the globe. Thanks for joining our session today. We hope you walk away with some valuable resources to take back to your teams. A big reason why technology companies partner with AWS is to grow their customer base within the areas they're already working. So let's explore together how HyperLearnCo has done this. They've identified partnering with AWS as a major route to market expansion for HyperLearnCo. They're growing, but their investors are getting antsy, and they want to take their growth to the next phase. 
The path to their next capital raise is clear, but they've realized getting to that next stage will require some help. So choosing where to focus has now become their challenge. The business looks like this at the start of this partnership. They've got some revenue and their costs are growing, but we invest in their business and their growth by introducing them to a partner development manager who works with their executive team to build out a journey for their business based on where we can help them move the needle most. They think of this PDM as the CEO of their partnership with AWS. Through regular meetings, workshops, go-to-market focused events, their PDM partners with them and their executive team to curate their unique story with AWS, leveraging funding mechanisms to accelerate opportunities with their customers, amplifying HyperLearn Co's story with the power of the AWS brand, and boosting the foundation for them to grow beyond a startup like we've done with the likes of Splunk, Datadog, and many others we continue to support today. Because they've identified growth and customer acquisition as their main goal for this AWS partnership, their PDM has helped them work their way into the ISV Accelerate program, unlocking market-leading co-sell support and benefits. With this program, they set growth targets and start receiving greater co-sell support for product differentiation, sales readiness, and improving their solution's success with customers. They now have fine-tuned sales plays and battle cards and solution briefs honing in on a better together story and winning customers across the globe. The way we've designed this program is to compensate the AWS sales organization to support their product and their customers, meaning when we help them close a sale, AWS pays our sales team. This puts skin in the game for our sales org to help our partners grow. We work with them to curate sales enablement materials so we have battle cards and feel ready kits to help our sellers digest and learn about their customers' pain points and where their solution plays into solving their challenges. Monthly co-selling progress reports provide statistics on opportunities shared by AWS and their team, along with any program updates and webinar announcements related to their business. The objective here is to become an extension of their team and expand their reach wherever they're looking to grow. Take this example here from Datadog's North American Cloud Alliance's director, Laura Rippens. You can see the impact that ISV Accelerate has had on Datadog's pipeline. AWS Marketplace is a place where we're seeing increased momentum from our customers looking for software to solve business challenges, and it's a great way to continue expanding their reach within the market they sell to. So let's continue this journey with HyperLearn Co. Continuing on this plan they built with their AWS Partner Development Manager, Marketplace is the next item to tackle to test the waters of global expansion. Setting up an office overseas, dealing with tax and compliance issues, working out where their customers will be isn't quite the investment they're ready to make yet, but AWS Marketplace will open the door to overseas customers without the risk of getting it wrong. The challenge that lies ahead is the lack of developer resources at their fingertips. The team's busy working on product maintaining their product, and even delivering their current roadmap. How are they going to fit in integration with Marketplace as well? Because we've had a regular cadence across their executive, technical, and go-to-market teams, the PDM knows that listing on Marketplace will require more AWS support. So the PDM finds and introduces an AWS consulting partner that specializes in helping technology partners list their solutions on Marketplace through various credits and funding mechanisms we have available. Within a matter of four to six weeks, their product's ready to go on Marketplace. At this point, they're ready to announce that HyperLearn Co. can be found and procured on AWS Marketplace, so their CMO works with their PDM to get a press release published. Next is driving customers to this listing and getting them to subscribe to their platform. To do this, the PDM introduces them to the Marketplace Go-to-Market program, which is a demand generation program led by a virtual partner marketing manager they utilize their market development funds to offset their costs from joint go-to-market campaigns designed to drive customers to subscribe via Marketplace. Within 30 days, they have their first Marketplace deal and more in the pipe. A great example of Marketplace success is from a cloud guru whose customer, a provider of financial data and analytics to banks, hedge fund managers, and CFOs needed a solution to address learning gaps and support AWS certification for its engineers. AWS Marketplace allowed this company to access custom pricing and deploy a Cloud Guru's educational path to over 70 engineers from across the globe. 
For a deeper dive into AWS Marketplace, make sure you check out session SUP07, Build a Data-Driven Go-To-Market Strategy with AWS, led by Heath Milligan and Daryl Grauman. Now, an area I get excited about personally is helping our customers and partners explore new markets. So whilst working with their partner manager and AWS account team in an executive team workshop, HyperLearn Co. identified the possibility of going after a new market that they haven't quite been able to address thus far, the small to medium-sized business segment. No one had seemed to crack this space, and they thought this was achievable with some support. The economics hadn't quite made sense, but there was an interest in pursuing this opportunity. And again, because their development team is at capacity and hiring great developers is always a challenge, carving out resources to build and test this idea is going to be a challenge for them. However, after experiencing the depth of resources AWS has brought to the table, they take advantage of the solution architects, industry specialists, and prototyping team, which Rowan will share more on later. As an executive with some development chops, they take a first crack at building this tool on their own, and to offset the costs in this research and development phase, the PDM leveraged Sandbox Innovation Funding designed to support development of new ideas for partners to bring to their customers. This is an equity-free investment of credits from AWS to drive innovation. Fast forward a couple months, the product is ready, and with Marketplace proving an excellent channel with their core product, utilizing Marketplace again as a cost optimized channel for this new SMB-focused product made perfect sense. They leveraged the same consulting partner to help with this marketplace listing. They worked with their PDM to get a press release published announcing this new product and gap in the market they're addressing. And because they're still scaling their team, they take advantage of marketing concierge and work with the virtual partner marketing manager to create fully integrated marketing campaigns and offset their costs with market development funds provided by AWS. Within 90 days, they secured 30 net new customers for a total of $500,000 in ARR. Here's a couple ANZ-based startups that have gone through a very similar journey over the last six months. With COVID severely impacting the travel and hospitality industry, Local Measure's business was at risk. They pivoted their entire business model in six weeks by collaborating with the Amazon Connect team and their partner management team. And Brightflow, a data and analytics company, built a lighter version of their core product for the SMB market tapping it into an entirely new segment of customers they were previously unable to support. I'll pass you back to Rowan to take you through more on this new product development journey for HyperLearn Co. Bringing new product innovations to market fast can be crucial in responding to competitors or rapidly changing customer behaviors. The pandemic has happened and it has brought about some of these changing customer behaviors. The demand for on-demand remote sales training is rapidly increased. And HyperLearn Co's CTO is out walking a dog when she has an epiphany for an idea that might drive up audience numbers and engagement. Something that will help them charge more to their advertisers. All she needs to do is develop a product that live detects the instructor's gestures and teachings to display short summaries and clickable links to relevant advertiser content. Her team spends the next week ideating and gathering customer feedback on this idea. However, the problem is that the most compelling version they receive feedback on relies on computer vision tech. Now, their business doesn't have the resources to bring in an expensive and niche skill set like this until they can at least prove this idea can be monetized and is economically viable at scale. Without the resources to risk, they're faced with a crossroads. Take the plunge and hire the unproven skill set or change the idea to the less favored version of the product that risks missing out on revenue and customers. The AWS account team hearing about this in the weekly cadence with them makes an introduction to the prototyping team who offer engineering skills and know-how using Amazon's approach to innovation. They learn that AWS would invest in the project and if the prototype proved successful in achieving the objectives, they would be committed to moving forward to production. The prototyping team is appropriate to bring in here because they are best positioned to assist 
when there is a real world objective relevant to the business requiring an innovative technology solution using machine learning, robotics, spatial computing, or the like. Effectively, they are teams of rock stars with deep technical skills in emergent, advanced, and niche technology. Upon meeting the prototyping team, the HyperLearn Co project team learns that one, Prototyping has mechanisms which accelerate time to value by establishing a technical direction and path to production. Two, it elevates thinking and co-development opportunities present experience of Amazon's ways of working and its culture out of innovation. Three, it helps to create long-term value by lowering the barrier to solutions they never thought possible. And four, it demystifies technology, reducing risk when they don't have the expertise or capacity to experiment on their own. HyperLearnCo's project team acknowledge the goal of the prototyping team is to help customers decide on a project by reducing uncertainty on the highest risk components and delivering this through a really fast time to value with a working solution in no more than a few weeks. HyperLearnCo could not sign up fast enough. They brought in some team members who upskilled through osmosis and in the four weeks, their team spent co-developing the solution with AWS and experientially learning, they pivoted experimentally through to a solution that cost less to make than expected. And the team was also able to prove it got cheaper as it scaled. With a clear path to production defined and the cost and effort to get there, this eliminated major stages of uncertainty of bringing this product to market. And now a real customer story. Provectus Algae is a startup involved in producing organic compounds and bioreactors. They were growing algae, so controlling how much CO2, sunlight, and other factors was crucial in obtaining the right chemistry. They had done initial research on building and growing these bioreactors and knew certain things were possible at a scientific level. But there's a big difference between doing something at 100 liters versus 100,000 liters, which is what they needed to get to at scale. That is going from connecting and controlling a couple of bioreactors to connecting and controlling thousands of bioreactors across multiple sites. They had already retained contracts to sell this, but were a distance from releasing it in a packaged way. They needed a way to scale this through software to control the process so it could become a part of their product offering. They had a proof of concept and experience with building small-scale management tools, but were approaching the limits of their expertise with IoT. Now, this is where the prototyping team fit in, who connected up the IoT hardware sensors, built an integrated baseline cloud architecture to control it, and drew data into a data lake to accelerate decision-making and insights, all within a compressed four to six week time frame. Look, we know sometimes it can be difficult to have the freedom to execute the growth tactics that your business needs under the constraints of resource and budget. Ultimately, when you're trying to change the future as many of your businesses are, every hour of engineering time on the problem counts and every dollar is carefully allocated to generate returns. Oftentimes, spare resources or budget is not lying around, but AWS has a ton of programs to help with this problem. HyperLearnCo's has started seeing strong traction for their product, but see their growth being constrained by their costs. They're not able to scale economically, and this is slowing their trajectory down. Looking deeper, they realize they're paying an exorbitant amount on licensing, specifically database licensing. 
Each time they see growth from a new customer being added, cost is increasing at the same rate. They know they need to address this, but they don't have the extra budget and resources lying around to fix it quickly. They're considering pausing their roadmap to divert resources to this effort when they come across the AWS Database Modernization Program. This program brings a set of tools to automate the database change to open source, investments to help with the double bubble cost of the change, and deep database skills and expertise to assist with the process. Ultimately, helping HyperLearnCo break free from their legacy database provider with the least amount of disruption and getting to economies of scale fast. By the way, you may not know, we have multiple programs that can help with these sorts of friction creating challenges, regardless of where in the journey you might be. Continuing with the theme of modernization and claiming value from your existing intellectual property, we can assist with data center or colo exits where you may have a need to expand out of your current provider to accommodate scalability needs ahead. Or maybe you've made an acquisition and you want to capitalize on AWS's global reach to expand that into new markets, so need to migrate in rapidly. Maybe before you do any of this, you want to test the waters with a small slice of your architecture as a pilot, and we can also sponsor this. Or maybe you're interested in creating value for your business from building new things. We can assist with partner sandbox innovation funding for your build, taking cost out of the picture. Or you might want to take advantage of partner funding to accelerate your opportunities with customers, offsetting your POC costs. Finally, we can assist with accelerating your startup with the global startup program, expediting your access to ISV Accelerate and co-sell benefits. There are many others, too numerous to mention today, but this hopefully gives you a snapshot into the diverse areas we can assist with in eliminating friction. AWS has numerous resources, programs, and experts here to support your business's growth and development. As we look to wrap this session, we wanted to leave you with five key takeaways. We support our customers to grow their existing market share through the AWS Partner Network, we help them expand their reach through AWS Marketplace. We aid them in breaking into new markets that change the way we do things as a global community. And we assist our customers and partners in building cutting edge products that can be rapidly brought to market with our specialist build teams like the prototyping team. And we invest in you and your teams, equity free, to fuel innovation and development. So where can you get help? Now you're excited, you're ready to take your software business to the next level and utilize these resources you have available at AWS. You can reach out to your account manager, solution architect, ask about partnering with us, create a support ticket, or contact us at the link you see here on screen. To fuel yourself with more growth-related content, make sure you check out SUP07, Building a Data-Driven Go-To-Market Strategy with AWS, and ENT01, 2021 and Beyond, Trends in Applying Emerging Tech. Please check out aws.com slash training. We have an incredible catalog of training materials for all levels. There's something for everyone here, even for those of you just starting out your journey in the cloud. If you're building on AWS, I definitely recommend directing your team towards AWS certifications. They're a great way to upskill your teams and raise the bar for your new hires. Thank you all so much for attending the session. We really, really hope you enjoyed the content and walk away with some ideas for exploring how to grow your business with AWS. And if you've got a minute, please, we'd love to hear your feedback. If you can complete the session survey, and submit that for us. Thank you.